In today's video, I'm opening never before seen Yu-Gi-Oh products. And as a little bonus, I found more Terminal Revenge. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening video where we are opening some really cool old school product, including, you know, Magician's Force stuff in, uh, inside. We have IOC, we have Legacy of Darkness. We've got some Yu-Gi-Oh! GX stuff like Lost Millennium. A lot of fun stuff there. And then, of course, as I mentioned a second ago, I was looking around, if you follow me on Twitter, you already saw this. Uh, just to grab a few extra packs, I know some people don't like the extra packs, but the video would be really short if we didn't have extra packs. And I'm actually really excited about them now because I found more Terminal Revenge. I thought we opened everything we had on the live Stream. Turns out I had opened some for whatnot and put them in a box and I forgot about that. So now I have 36 more packs and I know for a fact out of this case, only one QCR has been pulled to my knowledge. There's, I think we gave away three boxes, so there could be an one or two in there. But even if there's not, there's still a chance to get a QCR or two could have the Dragon Master. Which, as you guys have seen, I've talked about it a lot. I think it's overvalued, but guess what? If I pull it, we're still grading it. It's going to be awesome. So, actually, really, I really should sell it. But I'll probably just grade it just for the moment, for all the memories of how crazy this was. Before we hop into this rest of this video, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Thousand Dragon original print, guys. It's not quite nostalgic condition, but only a little bit better than that. So, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What will we pull? Will we get Magia today? Will we get something amazing out of these old vintage packs? Like, you know, the Magician's Forest, Dark Magician Girl. That'd be pretty cool. And as we are getting into it, we we do have whatnot tonight, guys. So I'm gonna be opening, there are 36 packs of Terminal Revenge. So I'm gonna be opening a bunch of those. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is an awesome auction platform that I am selling on basically every week. They are streamed live. So if you have not been there, you could come into the stream. You can watch me open something awesome and you can participate by buying some of the packs, buying some things I have available. And of course, just watching and winning potential giveaways. I usually do about 10 giveaways a stream with a bunch of them being completely free to enter. And on Whatnot this Thursday, we'll be opening a first edition Edition, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy Booster Box, searching for the legendary ghost rare in here. One of the best looking ghost rares. Check out this picture I have of one right here. So if you guys want to be there for the awesome action of opening that awesome booster box, or you just want to be there for a live stream and giveaways, or you want to see what I have for sale on the Buy It Now tab, just use the link in the description. You can get $15 free credit to use on Whatnot if you are a new user. You also want to bookmark my stream while you're on Whatnot. Search Ruxin34. You'll be able to see the upcoming streams. Bookmark the stream this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. I can't wait to see you there. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. We have whatnot tonight. We're going to be opening a booster box of Lord Attack Young Galaxy first edition. So come hang out for that. There's going to be a bunch of different giveaways and stuff like that. So if you guys want to be there for the giveaways uh, or if you just want to come for the stream or if you want to actually get some of the Lord Attack Young packs and try to pull that ghost rare, which, by the way, I have one that I pulled a few years ago. I posted on Instagram that thing. I got a beautiful picture of it. Just check it out. It looks amazing. It's on the screen right now. So hopefully we'll pull that tonight. So if you want to be there, make sure you use the link in the description, get $15 free credit as a new user. Also bookmark the stream tonight, 5 p.m. Central. Hope to see you guys there. Let's keep going. I mean, once we pull Magia and we get to put, oh, we finally pulled it in the in the title, you know, and you guys all watch this video, then look, you guys know about the whatnot stream now. You have no excuses. So <laughs> very cool. I'm hoping that we can actually pull it because I'm going to not do a pack trick today because 36 packs is a lot for a regular video in addition to the main event, which is all these vintage uh, third party products. So overall, very exciting video. I mean, we get to potentially pull the most expensive modern card like ever. Uh, Shining Star Dry. I think that's a short print too. So I never actually did my counted my short prints. I, I just realized that. Yeah, I've I've had a lot going on, guys. So the the, the big opening took all day. You know, I've had a lot of stuff I need to get done. Snatch deal is beautiful. Very cool secret. All right, we will mix in, I think, uh, probably the two pack one first. We're going to do that very soon. We have the uh, Mirror Mage. Very cool. More Battles of Legend Terminal. We actually didn't like do as many videos. We did like a... Uh, we did, uh, I guess, one video, then we did the Magia talk, so that, and then we did like the live stream. No, we did, no, we did a second one. We did the versus battle. Okay, so we've done three videos opening it. Uh, oil, secret rare, very cool. Oh man, uh, I just have high hopes for this. We're gonna be looking out for that. Look, look out for that QCR because we want it, you know, want the dramatic moment. You know, that's always really the fun part. Is like, oh, we have a QCR. What could it be? And then you know, half the time it's the wrong. One. Not not half the time. Most of the time it's the wrong one. Uh, I am going through these fairly quickly because these are not the main event. Though I just feel like we need to open these. I thought about like, yeah, I could keep these packs and they'd be they'd be good for whatnot and stuff like that because people will be excited about getting Magia. But I'm like, you know what? I meant to open every pack I got. I I said we open every pack we had 
and I turns out I just missed these. So I, I feel like I owe it to you guys to get these open and potentially pull the Magia. Which if we don't get it, you're gonna have to let me know in the comments. Do you want me to get more packs? Do we need to pull the Magia uh, like soon? Or can I, you know, should I pull it later? You know, what, what do you guys think? Because I mean, we're always gonna try to pull it. Like if we go back to it in a few years and stuff, but you know, one one eight cases, like now's the time. Like as they get more expensive and like the packs are harder to get, it is a lot harder to open eight cases of a product. Kind of like with the Black Rose, we never pulled it because you know what, we didn't open a bunch of it at the time. We only opened a couple cases. So we kind of missed out on that one. And if you miss out on it, it gets harder and harder to get as you go, which kind of is fun to have like a chase you haven't hit. But at the same time, I kind of want to hit it, you know? Okay, after this one, we're going to open up one of the third party packs. Oh my gosh, after this one, we're going to pull up one of the third party packs. Okay, we got something. We got something. If this is the Magia, we don't need to open the rest of these packs because we've accomplished our goal. We at least have a one in 25 chance. We're up to a 4% chance to pull this thing. We have already opened, I think we opened 15 different QCRs during the live stream and uh, and, other and other stuff. So 15 different QCRs, that's a lot. There's still 10 of those we haven't pulled. So hopefully it's one of those and hopefully it is the best one. Let's go, we have Infernoid. Come on, Orcus Tarpor. Guard dog, please, please just be just be here. They're technically going to be two QCRs in here. So we'll, if it's not the one, we'll probably keep opening. Let's see. Oh, Snatch Steel. Okay, we didn't get this one. So I got what I asked for. It's not the Magia, but we did get one that I did not pull yet. So that is the 16th out of 25 that I've pulled. That's nice. Snatch Steel. That's a pretty looking card. I'm not going to lie. This would be a pretty cool to rock and go format. All right, dang it, not Magia, so close. Let's go to uh, one of the parts of the main event here. Right after I run to the bank and put my red wood logs away, because I'm level 91 wood cutting, guys. Don't worry, OSRS grind never stops. All right, let's open this thing up. We have one Ancient Sanctuary. Sometimes they can be first ed in these, I think. Uh, and then one, the Lost Millennium. Let's see if we can open these without damaging anything. These are kind of tough, because they're kind they're literally like stuck to the box. All right, care very carefully open this thing up very carefully speaking of if you like vintage openings though and you like you know this opening you like lord attack you tonight which is not i mean vintage it's 11 years old so it's pretty old but i don't know if it's vintage but if you like the really old stuff uh we're gonna be opening a very vintage item in just a few days so keep an eye out on the channel i'm not gonna spoil it i'm gonna let you guys be surprised when you see it it's gonna be really insane i've opened it one other time it was a long time ago so it's very rare very expensive keep an eye out for it very cool uh, first ed, yes. Okay, so we'll save that one. We'll do Lost Millennium. I, I, look at this. This is insane. Okay, so I'm very excited about that. We also, I have some plans coming up for 250k, guys. We are less than 15k away. So if you have not subscribed to the channel and you're enjoying the videos, don't forget to do that because once we get there, it's going to be an insane celebration, like even bigger than 200k, even bigger than 150. We're doing some big stuff. So I'm very excited for that. Keep an eye out for it. We have a new storm. Double attack. Okay, let's try to pull something big. White Ninja. This is unlimited, but we, I mean, Ancient Gear Golem would be awesome. Miss Polymerization. Rock Bombardment. Moy Interceptor Cannons. Gift of the Martyr. Hita, the Fire Charmer. The Nitro Unit. So that that is not what we're looking for right there. It's just a couple of uh, commons and stuff. And uh, I was about to say uncommons, probably because I I actually played Magic the other day. Really fun. I bought a revised starter deck. I was talking about the live stream. I bought one. Probably going to be opening that on the channel at some point. I know it's got it not as popular as is Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff but it is vintage 1994 super excited for that and if you have more more of those revised starters hit me up I might want another one we have arbitration we have life hack I'm gonna open a couple of these there is a chance there's another QCR in these packs but probably unlikely but because I know the cases had two pulled two by me and then there were three giveaway boxes one was on whatnot somebody won the other one I think it was Lara that we pulled and then I pulled this one here and then there were three giveaway boxes on whatnot so those could have one inside so if you want one of those giveaways and you're debating on opening it if I don't pull any here I think it's a guarantee that one of those three boxes has one well not a guarantee because we did get a two QCR box one time but on average they usually have three so almost a guarantee all right let's go back to ancient sanctuary first edition here we want to pull the I mean speaking of Dragon Master Magia let's get the uh, burst stream of destruction okay Let's make it happen. The original print of the spell card, Burst Stream of Destruction. One, two, three, four from the back. We have uh, Vampire Lady, Enchanted Fitting Room, the Sand Gambler, Wall of Revealing Light, First Ed. That used to be a limited card. Uh, we have the Three Humble Kuna, Earthquake. That was a Ruxin special, by the way. Piranha Army, and one more card. Human Wave Tactics with a Moki Moki, and... Triangle power, the pyramids, the triangles. Okay, first edition cards, but 
not what we're looking for. All right, a few more uh, Battles of Legend, a few more chances to get the Magia. Yeah, let's do it. We have Gigantic Sprite. Very cool. Awesome card. Still a bunch of packs left. Can we pull something big? End of Anubis Secret Rare. Okay, cool stuff. Secret, I like it, I like it. Let's see what else. Proxy of Magician. That's one of the worst QCRs. I think it's second worst right behind the Ib or in front of, depending on how you want to look at it. We still have two more third-party products to be open in the video as well. Got to be a great stream that I know whatnot as well. I'm excited to open Lord Attack on Galaxy. I haven't opened, I don't know if I've ever opened a first ed box. So this might be the first time we've ever done it, which is pretty cool because we hit Raging Battle for the first time the other day, opening a first ed of one of those. First ed Lord Attack on. So we're doing a lot of stuff that I'd never done before. Uh, which is cool because we I have opened basically every product Yu-Gi-Oh has ever made. So anytime there's something I haven't done, it's really exciting. OK, I'm going to get through the rest of these and then we will continue on to the big stuff. Actually, you know what? After this one, we're going to do a uh, Exodia. I like that. We're going to do the next one and then we'll save the big one for last. Um, nothing in the first two packs, but I have hope for the next two. Here we go. We'll save a few terminal events just in case we want to pull that. The funny thing is all this vintage stuff. We can't pull anything more expensive than the current price of the major, which the current price is. I mean, this is a couple of days for you're seeing it. It might. I mean, who knows? It might be a 2000 by the time you see this. I mean, who knows what it's going to be, but we can't pull anything remotely close to that out of these big packs. Like if you get like a PSA 10 Dark Magician Girl Unlimited, that would be more probably. But other than that, not so much. OK, so first dead again. Good. I'm not going to put the glue on my mat. Let's go Lost Millennium first. Try to pull something crazy. So far, I mean, we got it. We got a QCR. I mean, that's pretty good. Um, the vintage, though, not as much. Let's see. I'm saying vintage a lot because, of the, you know, magic. You know, a lot. Of, that's what they call it a lot. I do say vintage Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. But then, you know, then you think of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh and it just gets confused. Like, are you talking about vintage Yu-Gi-Oh the person or vintage Yu-Gi-Oh the, the item, I guess? We have level conversion lap. Sparkman. Speaking of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, OK, no spoilers there. Speaking of vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, I will be at Collecticon Charlotte with not only vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, but many others, including uh, I think Uber is going to be there. VOP claim sale, crack packs, people like that uh, will we, we'll be vending. So if you want to come by Charlotte Collecticon, come say hi, check out what we got for sale, buy something or not. It'll be great. It's going to be super fun. So I always love Charlotte. So I want to shout out that we'll be there. OK, last card. Oh, an ultimate rare. Let's go. Spell stopping statute unlimited. Looks like a North American ulti. That's pretty. I'm not going to lie. It looks good. All right. Ultimate rare one pack magic. I'll take it unlimited, but it's still really cool. That's a great pull. So honestly, pulls aren't too bad. We had a QCR and an ultimate in the same video. You can't beat that. I mean, most of the time. So here we go. Let's. Oh, man, this glue is wrapped all the way around. I'm going to have to open it like this, I think, so I don't bend any cards by accident. Let's see if we can get this out. So let's open it like that. There we go. Very cool. One, two, three, four. All right. Oh, oh OK. That's like a different color. That doesn't always mean it's a, a foil, but sometimes it does. Vampire Lady, let's see if we can get something big out of First Dead Ancient Sanctuary. I'm still aiming for that burst stream destruction. It'd be nice to get Dark Magic Attack, Enemy Controller, Secret Rare of something else. You know, those are not Secret Rares. That made it sound like they were. Piranha Army, we got the limited card again. Human Wave Tactics, Solar Flare Dragon, Law of the Normal. And OK, this is the last card. It's a spell that could be Burst Stream. It could be Dark Magic Attack. Here we go. Dark Magic Attack, not the Burst Stream, but one next to it. Unfortunately, it's off center. That's a sweet card. Oh, it's so clean, too. Okay, maybe it maybe it has a little is it bent a little? Maybe that's just warping. Man, if this was center, that looks clean. Either way, that's an amazing card. This is one of my first big, big pulls on the channel. It's like 25 bucks now. But uh, back when I first opened Ancient Sanctuary, I, this was the card I wanted. I pulled it, graded PSA 10. This is amazing. What an awesome pull out of a random. It's one of the better pulls we've had of a third party product. That's really good. A first edition ultra. Yes, that is sweet. What and the ulti in the same little pack two two packs two huge hits all right what a video let's open these last five i mean there's only one way to really up that right uh put some good stuff uh only one way to really up that and uh, hopefully we will do that tonight on whatnot as well so go check out that stream substitute great short print card that substitute is actually more than i expected i thought it was gonna be like a 50 cent card but it got short printed so it makes sense why it's more expensive but it was like 11 bucks last i checked so not cheap at all Let's keep going. Let's get give us a U Bell in, in here, maybe you know life hack. We haven't gotten one yet out of these, so that'd be cool. U Bell, uh, whatever the Lara is called, not Ritual Beast. Lara. Is it Ritual? I don't know. There's two different Laras, and it confuses me. Okay, Infernoid, Spiritual Beast Tamer Window. Maybe it was a Spiritual Beast before. Maybe no, that's probably what it is now. Sprite Starter. Two packs left. Then we go on to the Magicians. 
force opening. Very exciting. We have the scr scrap hiccup. Oh no, the hiccups. No, don't do this. Ice Jade, they're attacking me. Okay, those are brutal hiccups. That was like painful. All right, last pack, last chance at literally this has to be it. I don't think I have any more packs. I think this has to be. I thought it was it last time, but one more chance at the QCR. Let's see if we can do it. We have the Barox Electrode, little Pokemon sacrifice, and the Bro oh, Brainac. That's actually a short print. So that's a good card, but not unfortunately in the Mage. Yeah, you got to let me know in the comments if we're going to keep trying, but don't worry. Video is not over yet. The main course has arrived. Okay, over $11 value for only $7.99. Yes, yeah, $7.99. Definitely not what I paid, unfortunately. That would be really cool if I did, though. So if you open it like that, can you just pull it out is the question. Doesn't seem like it. Doesn't seem like that's going to work. Okay, I'm going to have to figure this out. Maybe if I just rip it down the side. It's, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, if you can just rip it like this. That might... Huh, it feels weird. All right, that worked actually. So cool packaging, but goodbye. Now we have the packs out just like that. So let's just take them one at a time. Why not? Oh, it actually came off really cleanly. No glue residue or anything. LOD, bless us. These are all on limb, right? On limb, on limb. Yeah, okay, all on limb. So nothing too insane, but Yada, Injection Fairy Lily. I don't know which pack this is. And I don't know the code by heart for LOD. One, two, three, four, because it usually comes in a box. You know, that tells you. We can be the giant dragon. We have dragon manipulator. Let's in on a banger here. Okay, let's get something big. Emergency provision. I mean, not that we didn't just do that. Dragon's Rage, Right Kisha Clown, Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling, and we have Dragon's Bead. All right, the Bead of the Dragon. Cool stuff. Let's go to IOC next just because MFC has potential DMG and very cool stuff like that. So keep an eye out for that. Okay, yeah, this one's not coming off so clean. It's got the cardboard sticking to it or, or whatever. I mean, it's kind of cardboard. It's like really thin. IOC. Let's open this thing up right here. Can we pull something insane for from the back we have energy drain chaos sword that's a great pull uh gora eternal evolution i thought i saw this back here looked like i was a qcr i was like wait what what is going on here we have the fiend's hand mirror imagine if they had qcrs back then spirit of pot of greed molten zombie soul tigre i love the soul tigre the soul of a tiger that is said to devour human souls he is a how does he devour human souls with zero attack? That's the question. He has a famous soul that you wouldn't want to run into in a dark alley. I mean, what can he do? He has zero attack. Like, it just feels like he'd have a lot of attack, but he's, all he can do is defend. So I don't, I don't really get it. Invader of darkness. Imagine if that was an original print CED. I don't think I've ever pulled CED original print or first dead. So I definitely haven't pulled first dead, but I don't think I've pulled an original print. Yes, it had to have been a retail pack then. This card's not expensive, but it is really awesome. I'm not going to lie. Man, got some scuffing on the back, but still, that's a sick pull. We are pulling insane in this video. Last pack. I mean, can we please keep this up? I mean, at the rate we're at... I mean, this would be fantastic to end with something crazy. MFC, it could be a Dark Magician Girl pack, could not. I mean, we're not 100% sure. I could look at the back code. I don't actually know that one off the top of my head. You guys might, though. Okay, one, two, three, four. I have a sneeze coming. Of course, I'm being attacked today. Allergies <laughs> do not like me. Don't worry. That's just a sign that we're going to pull something big. Here we go. Union Rider. We're trying to attack. Don't pull the card. It's too powerful. Metal Silver Armor. We have Roulette Barrel. Pseudo Spirit, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're making our way to 250,000. We're going to do some big celebrations there. And also don't forget tonight's whatnot stream at 5 p.m. Central. Use my link down below. Get $15 for new users. And of course, bookmark the stream. It's going to be awesome. We have Shido Spirit, Thunder of Ruler, big giveaways tonight, Magical Marionette. And you know what else is about to happen is we're about to have a big PSA 10 Dark Magician Girl. Pixie Knight, come on, baby. Here we go. I take Dark Paladin too. I thought we got Dark Paladin for a second. XYZ Dragon Cannon. I'll take that. I'll take that Ultra Rare. That is not. That is not an easy card to pull. Okay. What a video. Talk about some insane luck when it comes to good pulls. I am very happy with that. Shout out to Toll Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa Jr., Barding, Robert F. Chengling, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.